Again, a quick check of futures, not that much price movement so far. David Barnson joins us this morning. All right, David, I'm sure you've seen the news. Taiwan Semiconductor tripling its investment in chip manufacturing in America, spending 40 billion. President Biden's going to Arizona to push this plan. My question to you is, David, does this help Intel? I know you've liked Intel as a stock before. I do think it does. And I think Intel's own efforts in domestic manufacturing are going to end up paying off for Intel down the line as well. What this does is just facilitate this idea of America once again being a hub of manufacturing. Intel's doing such in Ohio and Arizona. What Taiwan Semiconductor is doing is trying to bring pretty sophisticated chip manufacturing. People like Apple and NVIDIA are going to be the customers, but I think it helps the whole ecosystem and Intel will be a big beneficiary. I know you like Blackstone. And I remember you recommended Blackstone to me a couple of years ago. I bought it, did very well with it. I think you still like it, even though that stock has come under a lot of pressure just recently. Yeah, so about five weeks ago, it was at 80, and then four weeks ago, it was at 107. Yep. So it had been way down and popped way higher. Now it's come back down in the low 80s. So there's a lot of volatility in the name. It's an asset manager. They buy real estate, credit, private equity. They're the biggest and best in the world at that, by the way. But of course, it's interest rate sensitive. There's borrowed money involved. So higher rates are a factor. But, you know, the dividend yield right now is over 6%. They've grown the dividend every year they've been public. And right now at this price level, I think the market's really misunderstanding what's gone on with their huge real estate fund, which yeah. has done fantastic. And yet people are worried that, oh, they're going to start pulling money out of that. Well, I hope some people pull money out. I like the idea of the, this investment growing cash flow every year, which is what it continues to do. So Blackstone has just come back on sale a little bit, and I can't recommend it enough, Stuart. At $81 a share, it yields 6% as a dividend. Is that dividend absolutely, definitely secure? Yes, uh, there's no question that they have been one of the most faithful dividend payers and growers, and they have free cash flow because it's not their money going in these investments. They get fees from management, and then they get incentive fees on top. The answer is yes, that dividend is secure, and it will grow from here. Well, thank you very much for recommending it a couple of years ago. You have helped put my grandchildren through college. Um, we owe you. David Barnson, great stuff. Thank you very much for being with us. I know we'll see you again soon. Look forward to it.